Welcome. Sorry. I'm your host, uh, Jan Sola, the Senior Associate Director of the Silicon Valley Executive Center in the Levy School of Business at Santa Clara University. Um, thank you for taking the time to participate in our webinar today. Uh, we uh, have a, our goal to provide you with detailed information on the Silicon Valley Venture Development Program. Um, and I think this is a good opportunity to give you a lot of background uh, on this unique partnership between Santa Clara University and Silicon Valley and the Degendorf Institute of Technology in Germany. Um, during this time together today, our plan really is to provide you with details of the Silicon Valley Venture Development Program um, and uh, what it is and why you should consider participating, why Degendorf, why Santa Clara University. Um, I think these are questions that we'll try to answer today and provide some information on. We'll give you some idea of our unique uh, and structured approach to scaling your ventures um, and how our program really is differentiated from other entrepreneurship programs and accelerators. You'll also hear some short testimonials, some short comments from previous participants and other programs, which I think you'll find quite um, uh, illuminating and, and underline what what is distinctive about Silicon Valley Venture Development Program. Following these presentations, um, you'll be asking questions. So uh, ask questions of the panel by submitting your questions in the chat box. Um, the panelists today, I'm going to introduce them now. We first have Professor Al Bruno. Al is a professor of marketing at Santa Clara University and an expert in entrepreneurship and venture formation. Al has a distinguished record of guiding the launch of hundreds of innovative ventures. Secondly, we have Pat Guerra. Pat is a Santa Clara alum, adjunct professor at Santa Clara. He is an entrepreneur, an angel investor, a co-founder of multiple accelerators, and he has been a mentor to hundreds of ventures in Silicon Valley and beyond. In Germany, we have Peter Johns Schmieder, he's a distinguished professor and a former dean at Degendorf University Institute of Technology and an entrepreneur in his own right. Um, he's the founder and director of this program in Degendorf and we are excited that Peter is able to join us today. Lastly, but as importantly, is Alexander Dorn. He will serve as our moderator for today's program, webinar today. He manages the program at Degendorf and with his 15 Plus years of multinational experience, he serves as a very effective bridge between Europe and the US. So I'm going to turn it over to Alex, and I'm going to remind you all, as you have questions, don't hesitate to um, submit them in the chat box. Okay. Thank you, Chen, for the kind introduction. I would like to start this presentation by asking a friend and former participant whom you're already seeing on the screen to speak. Here is Oliver, who participated three years ago in the program, a serial entrepreneur whom the program helped to successfully launch a venture. Oliver, please. In the last 30 years, we founded five successful companies in the field of water, treatments, medical care, and food supplements. One of these companies in the water treatment field, we sold 2011 to a company called Brita. In that stage, we founded Guevara, our new startup company, and we took part at the Silicon Valley program. Oliver and Guevara are one example of how the program helped to get structured and successful. But let's start at the beginning. Al, Peter, what drove you to establish a DIT, SCU, Silicon Valley program? Well, initially, um, we had a relationship with uh, DIT uh, that goes on for, I think, as many as nine years, uh, which Peter, by the way, initiated. And uh, when they contacted us for an expansion of the program, I, I, I called Pat Guerra, who I'd done a number of programs with in the past, and uh, we thought it was an excellent opportunity to evolve our systematic approach to venture development uh, by doing it internationally and by distant learning. So we're very pleased to have this opportunity. 
Thank you, Al, for the SCU perspective. Peter, you founded this program. What drove you? Uh, actually, for, for years, I was searching for a kind of missing link between great technology and innovation and access and success to market. Um, I found countless initiatives, plug and plays, programs, centers of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurships, they were underperform uh, because an idea itself, even an innovation is worthless. Success does not happen in labs. The most crucial part is the transfer to market. The more disruptive, the harder. And this is where failure happens. And there was no program that teaches this, what I call red zone offense, a quote from football, uh, and teaches it in a structured, scientifically proven process and a world-class network of experts and mentors to transfer innovations to markets, to stay in the pictures, to score touchdowns. So with this Silicon Valley program, I indeed founded the missing link. But um, Deckendorf and the Valley are nearly 10,000 kilometers apart. They are frankly speaking on opposite sides of the world. Um, Peter, why does Deckendorf partner with the SCU and why does it match so perfectly? That's a good question and very easy to answer. There is, for me, there is no place like the Valley to learn this market transfer. And for me, there is no place like Santa Clara. I, I once said it in a YouTube interview I gave five years ago. Santa Clara is the heart of Silicon Valley. World-class faculty and staff, an incredible network that can be activated almost on demand, but a network and teachers that are very demanding. And with the Silicon Valley Executive Center at Santa Clara, we have the right and experienced institution, institution that proves all you need and provides all you need, especially the two world-class instructors. You can see Pat and Al, thank you for your partnership on that and your friendship as well. Believe me, it's hard to get better than that. Thank you, Peter. I can, I can only second that. Although I'm a native of this beautiful city, Deckendorf, I need to admit that some of the international viewers might not have heard of Deckendorf yet. Um, so I'm asking the same question the other direction. Al, why does the SCU partner with Deckendorf? Well, the, the same sort of location comment that Peter made, well, we can make it on behalf of Deckendorf. It's in Germany probably the single most successful country in the world for product development. Uh, it's in southern Germany, so the access to the Bavarian uh, uh, culture and economic development, and particularly the uh, Middlestad companies that are located there in, in quite a few numbers. And then finally, the uh, technological capabilities of DIT. Uh, it's got uh, nine technology campuses that we have access to, and we've had the benefit of the technological capabilities of some of the faculty and staff who have helped some of the ventures so far in our relationship. So it's a, it's a perfect relationship for Santa Clara. Thank you, Al. Um, any additions from your side, Pat? Well, I, I would just summarize some of the comments, uh, uh, Alexander, and say that the combination of world-class, small to mid-size businesses uh, focused on technology innovation uh, in this uh, greater uh, Bavarian uh, region uh, and the applied research faculty at Degendorf Institute of Technology make the partnership very compelling. The DIT research faculty, very frankly, uh, may be able to contribute to your venture's distinct competitive advantage given the research they conduct there. Thank you, gentlemen, for explaining why this is actually a perfect match. Let us dive into the program itself and start with how it is structured. As you can see on the screen, there are three main phases. Since phase one is in Deckendorf, Peter, can you go ahead, please, and explain what phase one is about, please? Okay, I'd be glad to. Um, the five days in Deckendorf uh, is the kickoff. 
and they're going to be very, very intense. It is like an infusion for the teams with the Silicon Valley mindset, the market thinking, all the tools and all the methods are laid out, trained, and applied to your ventures. You'll immediately go to work. Uh, and don't underestimate the cohort learning. Real entrepreneurs cooperate and learn from each other. This is when what we call the red zone offense actually starts, and we kind of show you the playbook. Okay, um, Pat. Phase two is under the headline of monthly interactive webinars, like the one we are actually recording and seeing right here. Can you talk the viewers through what phase two is about, please? You bet, Alex. Um, during phase two, you need to apply the lessons learned in phase one uh, to specifically to your venture, uh, as opposed to just uh, at, you know, from an academic standpoint, trying to apply them in, in a classroom setting. So you need to get out of the, the office, you need to meet with people, and you're going to apply those lessons learned from phase one. This is done by researching the assumptions and or testing them with prospective customers and alliance partners. Uh, you'll need to finalize the details of your minimum viable product with customer input and, uh, and also your three-year cash flow statement by testing all critical assumptions uh, from your uh, Silicon Valley program business model canvas. This is uh, an extension and adaptation of the, uh, uh, the business model canvas that you may have read about. Uh, it is particularly focused from an investor perspective uh, because we believe that that's really critical to building a, a solid foundation. So preceding each webinar, your team will receive mentoring support. During the webinar, your team will present its findings, decisions, and next steps and receive feedback from Al and I. All of this is designed, again, to architect your venture on a solid foundation, minimizing the probability of unanticipated obstacles, which is what typically happens in a startup situation. Uh, every day you go into work, you find that there's something that you hadn't thought of. We'd like to make those small, and, and really insignificant uh, when you really start uh, executing your, uh, your plan. I, I might add one thing. Um, every webinar and the feedback you and Al are providing will be recorded for instant access of the teams. So there's an online platform where teams can access these webinars and where you can ask the instructors questions and they're immediately answered. And there on this platform, you're connecting them with potential resources and experts, enabling the teams to advance to the next stage. We and overhear it. The and, and I would add, I would add one other thought, and that is the venture teams can be located anywhere in the world. It, it doesn't matter where they are. That's right. That's totally online. Um, whenever you have an internet access and a computer, you're good to go. The presentation is online. The feedback is online. Um, Al, that's leading me um, directly into phase three, the final week in the Valley at Santa Clara University. Can you talk us through that component, the last and final phase? I can. Uh, so you see the word immersion. So it's a very busy week. Uh, there are four different uh, sort of activities. Uh, one is we provide some additional content through, through faculty at Santa Clara, as well as some si Silicon Valley luminaries including the Silicon Valley investors and German investors. Uh, second, we try to do a site visit of some sort, perhaps to Google, uh, to give a sense of the Silicon Valley uh, magic, uh, good or bad. Uh, third, we have very intensive mentoring to the venture teams to get them ready for their uh, investor pitch, which is the last component. The, uh, each of the teams that come to Santa Clara make an investor pitch to an investor panel made up of German investors. So a very intense week uh, beginning to end and then culminating a little celebratory experience. Okay, thank you very much. So these three phases are building perfectly upon each other, starting with learning to know the tools in phase one, while ensuring progress through success gates and checkpoints in phase two, culminating into the week in Santa Clara. 
we have actually asked another participant, another multi-serial entrepreneur, also from Guevara and also named Oliver. Here is his summary of the program in a short video. So we are quite experienced in starting and developing successful companies. We know a lot about entrepreneurship, but meeting Pat, Al and Peter in the Silicon Valley program at Technische Hochschule Degendorf was however extremely valuable for us for the future development of the Guevara project. With their experience and profound knowledge, they inspired us to rethink our venture. They guided us to a very professional structure. We learned methods of focused thinking and acting. For us, they are setting a new standard of a combined approach of academics and application. They provided a network of professionals whenever advice was needed. During the course program, we received immediately detailed feedback to the process of our venture development. Its highlight final is a presentation in front of the investors board at Santa Clara University in the Silicon Valley one of the most honored universities. So recollecting what had been said so far, this program classifies as an accelerator rather than an incubator. There is a fine but important difference. Whilst incubation starts at the idea stage, you can only accelerate something when there is at least an MVP, a minimum viable product to start with. Having that said, how is this program differentiating from other accelerators? What are the goals of the program for the participants? And what specific skills and knowledge do they obtain? Alex, I'll, I'll feel that. Um, our goal is to make the venture investment ready, whether it needs to raise capital or not. That means having a killer customer and investor pitch with compelling elevator pitch, value proposition, product market fit, go to market strategy, supporting financials, plan to scale, valuation, possible exit strategies, and the supporting investor due diligence materials. What makes us different is, is first our entrepreneurial and investor perspective. I spoke uh, a little while ago about the focus being from an investor's perspective. So we, we've done early stage companies ourselves, but in addition to that, and, and by the way, know what works and what doesn't work uh, from things that we've done well and mistakes that we've made. But the key is to think about this from an investor's perspective because it really helps to avoid a number of critical mistakes. And remember, you as the entrepreneur are the largest investor in your venture. Second, it's the systematic and step-by-step -step approach on collecting and analyzing data, performing hypothesis testing. This is evidence-based entrepreneurship that approaches a scientific discipline while embracing innovation. It doesn't rely on drop-in lectures and whiplash mentoring. That is, oh, that, that didn't work, so why don't you try this? Finally, it's really about building lifelong skills, not taking a financial interest in the company that you're trying to help. Peter, you're nodding. Yes, I am, because this program and what these two gentlemen do and contribute to this program is really unique. Uh, I, I have not found it. Uh, uh, in, in the world, looking in, in programs and searching for something like that. Um, it is like from the very start of the program, from the kickoff, um, there are people that invest in you. And this is also, the, also as, as Pat said, the goal at the end. This investment should continue to make your innovation successful. So this is what I want to add. This is actually and really, it's unique. It's really unique. Yeah, that elaborates and highlights perfectly what the key benefits of the program are. It is the structured and proven process, the tailored mentoring, holding the teams accountable from an investor's perspective and to be invested in. Um, that leads me to the question of 
who should participate? What qualifications should a team bring? Well, well uh, Alexander, you know, we admit teams, venture teams. Uh, we really insist on uh, three to five people, uh, part of that venture team, uh, that uh, uh, come together to work on the program, um, to work in the program to uh, accelerate their venture launch. Uh, that requires the team to have a proof of concept um, uh, in place. And if you're at the idea stage, you might want to contact us. Maybe we can help you uh, meet the requirement before the July start of, of the next program. Venture teams must be prepared to offer evidence of science, the fact that the product works or product efficacy, some customer research, uh, again, having that proof of concept or prototype, and the skills, insight, and experience that are uniquely suited to commercializing this innovation. It is ex expected that you will use your, your own resources to achieve a working prototype. That might involve uh, raising money from friends and family. If you can't get to a prototype without seeking outside investment, that just creates a huge obstacle uh, to, to, to launching the, the, uh, the business. Uh, the venture team should be able to speak to the size of the opportunity and the pain that currently exists and why customers would want to adopt this innovation, disruptive or not. Great. Thank you, Pat. Um, earlier, we mentioned a step-by-step -step approach to, to make progress. I recall having heard these words from another participant. Marco is the final and third representative from Guevara. He summarizes their experience in the last video. The Silicon Valley program was incredibly exciting, instructive and inspiring because it eliminates meetings and enhances our product from its own and professional point of view from all angles. So the idea becomes reality and our product is optimally prepared, tested and proven to be successful. We are professionals, but always open to be changed and advised, especially from people who completely understand the market. The program has definitely positively changed and improved our product and our view of them. I think without the Silicon Valley program, we would not be where we are now. Thank you. Al, Pat and Peter and our special video guests for explaining what the program is about. We have said in the beginning that we're giving our viewers the opportunity to ask questions directly to the board and I have browsed through them in the meantime and have picked five, no six actually ones, which I think are very representative and I would like to ask you these questions and whoever feels entitled to answer it, please go ahead. I would start with the first one. Um, are there mentors involved in the program? And if so, how important are they to the success of the venture? Uh, I'll take that one. For sure, there are mentors involved in the program. We believe that uh, the mentoring process uh, sharpens the thinking of the venture teams. And as one of our participants indicated, uh, focus thinking and acting is, is the name of the game. And the mentors, um, participate, uh, guide, uh, uh, provide some opinions uh, periodically, and really help make the mentoring process more successful. Since we've instituted the mentoring process in, in this relationship, uh, the quality of the webinars that they have uh, provided content to has improved considerably, and so have the investor pitches uh, at Santa Clara. So very definitely involved. Very good, so let me add uh, Pat and Al. Uh, for all of you listening to that, uh, Pat and Al are not just instructors or te teachers. They are your first mentors throughout the entire program. And we in Degendorf, we established a, a kind of pool of experienced mentors, some of them itself participants or teachers in the field of entrepreneurs or in the Silicon Valley program. Uh, and from this pool, if there is a match um, scientifically, personally, 
um, or from the business you're attacking or approaching, uh, you can pick your own mentor that is kind of guiding you through the eight months. Um, hope this answers. Uh, I, I think that, that's yeah. answering the question quite well. I have another one. Um, we do not have an MVP, so a minimum viable product yet, but would like to learn what it takes to be prepared. Can we participate? Well, you know, Alex, I kind of addressed that. Um, you know, the, uh, the cohort, uh, the next cohort uh, in our fifth year of this program uh, uh, in partnership with uh, Degendorf Institute of Technology uh, begins in July. So if you have an idea, I, I would encourage to reach out to, um, uh, to you, uh, Alex, uh, and some of the other resources there in, in Degendorf if you're in Germany. Uh, and, and understand um, what it would take to, to get to a minimum viable product or at least uh, some type of working prototype and address some of the other uh, elements that I highlighted. Uh, if, if, you're really, if you really haven't thought through the product and, and some of the market uh, 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 opportunities, uh, then you're really not gonna uh, take full advantage of the program. So you still have some time uh, to be able to accomplish that uh, if you're interested in participating uh, this year. Uh, and now it's January. So the next program starts in July 2019. So there is still a lot of time. Just contact us, call us. Uh, and uh, I have to say that we are already working with two or three teams very intensely, teams that plan to start in July. And we, we make them ready and we help them step by step right now uh, to have a good start in July. So just call. Okay, thank you. Um, here's the next one, um, a brisk and short one. Is my idea safe? I don't want anybody to copy me early on. Um, I, I'll take that. So traditionally entrepreneurs always have a concern about someone taking their idea. Uh, that, seems to be, that seems to go with being an entrepreneur some caution. Uh, but that isn't the problem here because we make sure that there aren't competitors in the, in the cohort that, that will begin each year. And uh, the, the whole intent of this is to share the idea, get feedback from a variety of sources. So it's, it's really beneficial to be quite open and uh, get those thoughts and criticisms uh, uh, from the cohort. I guess there are a couple other dimensions, and I, I think Peter may want to speak to, to one of them. Uh, first of all, the, um, the cohort learning that goes on uh, with uh, different venture teams applying the tools and techniques that we have to offer and seeing how they do it and how you might be able to do it to your venture is incredibly valuable. Um, uh, as Al said, we, we uh, go to great lengths to make sure that there aren't directly competitive uh, products uh, in the cohort. Um, but but the, the real key here is, is that for any idea, you need to have a unique set of skills and insights into that market. And if other people hear the idea and they don't have the requisite skills to execute on it, very frankly, it doesn't, they, they can't execute. So, so uh, and that's really what drives Silicon Valley. There's so many meetups and, and uh, uh, places where, where you meet people and you share your elevator pitch, that's effectively sharing your idea. If, if you don't have the requisite skills, you can't execute on it anyway. So, so that's the Silicon Valley answer. <laughs> but, uh, the, the German answer, of course, every team, every participant, every mentor, every instructor, we sign a non-disclosure statement that you're, <laughs> that you're safe. So remember, it's still an American German program. <laughs> so that's, that's, I, I guess that should answer the question. And, okay, uh, thank you. A, a short question, but three very good answers. Um, the next one, I think Peter is teed up directly for you. Is the intro week in Deckendorf really necessary? Uh, absolutely. Uh, don't underestimate the cohort learning and getting to know the other teams directly, personally. Uh, digital learning has its advantages, but you, you, can, you can start without really personally meeting all the teams, getting contact. 
Um, I, I would like to say, if you want to be successful in the red zone, um, don't miss the first huddle uh, and don't miss uh, the first scrum and don't miss the snap. So this is like the first huddle. You get together, get to know each other, understand the other venture teams, uh, understand their characters. Uh, and sometimes you even, you even switch ideas or get in contact and you have some from your network. It happens every year that the teams help each other in crucial moments. And believe me, you will have crucial moments through the process of the eight month and to overcome it. It's not just the thing of team and mentors and teachers. It's a, a, a thing of cohort learning and from your colleagues from other team that help you. So first week, very important. Thank you. Um, Pat, you're an angel investor and also an instructor on the program. I think the next um, question is speaking directly to you. Um, a team is asking, do I need to give away any shares of my company when I participate in the program? Well, certainly that's the case in for-profit accelerators. This, what, the other dimension that makes this unique is that it's two academic institutions uh, that are really uh, leveraging their assets and, and uh, their uh, desire to promote uh, economic development and, and, um, uh, uh, and entrepreneurship uh, uh, around the world um, for the, the, you know, for not only the good of the uh, founders, but the good of mankind uh, that, that are pursuing this. So there, there is no equity stake uh, given to uh, the, uh, the founders, uh, either in, in Degendorf or Santa Clara. Um, that, that's what makes us different. Uh, I think, uh, very frankly, with all due uh, 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 conceit aside, I think we have a better program and you give away no equity um, and uh, it's, it's done with two prestigious academic institutions that have uh, their heart in the right place. Yeah, so the answer is no, no, no shares given away. Um, thank you for that. Um, I have one final question. Um, and I, I think this is coming from, oh yeah, they are saying it there. We are not looking for an investor slash to be invested in. We are a division within the company. Do you still see fit for us? I, I would say the answer is absolutely there's a fit because uh, the company that they may be launching from is making investments in, in the time of the employees, uh, financial resources, facilities, lots of other things. So we're, we're making that uh, entrepreneurial effort justifiable from that company's point of view. C complete application, same as an entrepreneurial situation. And, and you know, one of the things that we're doing uh, where appropriate is encouraging German companies to consider the notion of a spin out as opposed to continuing to have the new innovation reside within the existing structure uh, so that you take advantage of speed uh, uh, and um, uh, the ability of, of the venture team to be compensated uh, you know, appropriately for the, the risks that they take in their career and, uh, and the, uh, the potential contribution that they make to their, uh, their, their their uh, stockholders, which is the parent company or the middle stock company that, uh, uh, you know, where the idea was, was, uh, was generated. So th those would be some thoughts, Al Alexander. Yeah. And, and as, as you all know, in, in recent years, we, we always have branches and teams from companies, from Mittelstand, from regional, from German companies. Um, and their feedback to the program was, it was a contribution to change our culture into an innovative culture. And we learned a process we can repeat. So it's not just for this one venture, it, it, it's like a, a transferring into our company and infuses our company with the very innovative innovation to market thinking. So I encourage, especially German Mittelstand teams, because there is a lot of technology knowledge there um, and market knowledge already. So all they need is a structured process we provide in order to change their culture. So I, I really encourage uh, intrapreneurs as well. 
You know, Peter, uh, one of the CEOs of, of a very prominent Middlestein company uh, attended the program at, at Santa Clara, and he took me aside and said, you know, I've given, in, in my career, I've given hundreds of customer presentations, and I've never thought about delivering it in this manner. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for answering all these questions. Um, so last but not least, I would like to provide the viewers with an overview of the dates and milestones of the new cycle of the program. Application deadline is March 29, with the program starting July 17 in Deggendorf, leading into the webinar sessions, which, like we said, can be attended to you in March, April 2020. The program fee is 14,000 US dollars for a team of three, and the application link is provided below. We will all listeners provide with a link of the recorded session for convenience purposes to listen and read through the presentation once more in a more quiet setting. In case of any questions, please feel free to hit me up. My personal email address will be prompted on the screen later on and you can ask me any question you have about the program, whether your minimum viable product is good enough or whatnot, we can get that sorted out. So with having that said, thanks to all the viewers for dialing in from around the world. And thank you for your time, Al, Pat and Peter, for answering all the questions and talking us through. It was a great pleasure to moderate this session with you. And thank you, Aitana, for making all the techniques work in the background. It was really smooth and brisk. And last but not least, thank you to the SEU and Chan for hosting this event. I'm looking forward to meet all the international teams who are now online to, to get to know you and to learn about your venturous ideas. Um, over to you, Chan. Thank you. I just want to thank you, Alexander, for being a great moderator today. I think that the team you can see is passionate, dedicated, experienced, knowledgeable, and uh, we all like to have a lot of fun too in the process. So I think you could see that this is a, uh, a, a team that helps you achieve the success you want for your startup and uh, learn in ways that you've never probably experienced before. So uh, again, on the screen is the, um, the e two email addresses, the spec at scu.edu, that's the Silicon Valley Executive Center, and Alexander Dorn's email is on there as well. And we will uh, send everybody a copy of the link to this webinar so you can review it. You can, um, and then ask any questions that might come up down the pike on the part of you, on the part of any of your partners. Thank you very much for participating. And I hope we see you in the Silicon Valley Venture Development Program.